Oh boy. Something that I'm not really excited about. If if you don't know, if you check out check out my channel, which you should by the way, twitch.tv slash MD14. Uh I'm a huge fan of X Define. Yes, I probably the very few who love the game. I just something about the game I just really like. I completed both battle passes with uh, I was looking forward to season three and there's the key word there, as you can see on the screen here that Ubisoft announces to shut down X Defiant and studio layoffs are also expected as well. Um, Ubisoft has announced the, the plan to shut down X Defiant in June uh, 2025 following the poor player numbers and low revenue from in-game purchases. You know, that was one thing I was always wondering about. It, it wasn't really worried about the low player count i know there's many times when i play the game uh it takes uh specific uh, especially i can't even talk i'm so i'm so upset i can't even talk uh, especially uh during like certain hours like late hours um if it's non-prime time hours i'm in the eastern uh eastern time zone uh it was hard to find a match uh in spe in uh, specific modes as well if it wasn't team death match the chance of you fighting fighting a match is very slim if not you're running to the same people over and over again no matter what level you are and everything and um so i knew like the player count was it will have its ups and downs throughout the day but like at nighttime it was very evident it's it's no call of duty or anything like that uh but the skins i i try to figure out how this game was doing with revenue i know there's different skins there's also a battle pass as well but I feel like the battle pass didn't really grab people uh to it you get different skins for the gun uh for, the, for your guns different emotes and of course kill, sc uh, kill screen pictures and everything um but you know yes they're like it, they didn't bring like they didn't bring any characters from from franchises even though these are factions from different fran franchises like i don't know why they didn't bring like different characters from the game like like I, I know there's no assassin's creed faction but like imagine like an assassin's creed character showed showed up and they're in the game people would be like oh damn this guy like desmond's in the game let me pick up desmond right now type of thing you know um so like it just it, i don't know why they never they never really brought options like that it just had like different like skin colors for your for your uh, characters which a lot of them were really cool i, I really did enjoy them um but like in a way you can just get everything for free in a way and i guess some people just either didn't have any interest in that or or they just waited it out as well you know and of course there's tons and tons of drops because i played the game there was uh, i always had drops activated as well there's the partnership uh drops and then there's of course like the standard drops for everyone as well um i had both uh which now i <laughs> now like i don't think anyone's even gonna be watching that as well i pretty much like if you're if you're saying that the game is gonna be shut down on June tw June 2025, uh, but I believe it's uh, where we continue here. Um, season three will be the final season of X to Five, which is coming out really soon. A small team will continue to maintain the game until the server goes go uh, go offline in June 2025. Uh, Ubisoft has uh, started a uh, stated it would provide information on refunds for cosmetic purchases and other in-game content in the coming months. Uh, so I believe it's if it was a uh, 30 days. You will get a uh within the last 30 days you'll get a refund uh if you're on the 31st day you're out of luck too bad they got your money okay um but um it just sucks i, I you know I, I really i really enjoyed the game and like i was looking forward to season three it, like it was honestly my favorite shooter um i know call of duty is out and like i said i know it's an unpopular opinion but i just really liked it i don't know something about the game just it made it feel like old school call of like call of duty for me i don't know something about it um so it's it just it but like it, it their practices didn't show how they would make money though because they didn't like there was there wasn't really like oh damn i really want this skin you know or or let me get this battle pass uh reason you know like there was no like true incentive to get it you know so um the shutdown will lead to significant layoffs which is always unfortunate uh with ubisoft san francisco and, and uh, a soccer studio expected to close their doors entirely around 170 to 180 employees will reportedly lose their their positions but the first wave of layoffs are already underway the second uh, second layoffs will be happening in february 2025 the worst way to find out um 
like the worst that is the worst timing holiday season get, get laid off never the best that, that I mean, the getting laid off is never the best in general but then during the holidays uh it sucks it really sucks mark rubin uh is, that, is, is an executive involved with xdefy address the news a heartfelt message to the fans and the team acknowledging the challenges face the project expressing the gratitude for the community support uh here's the entire message right over here okay nothing shows there cool um sometimes you gotta be careful with this silly platform here you just see a random ass for all of a sudden you know uh, sitting, uh starting today uh 23rd uh new downloads and players registrations will no longer be available we will uh we will still we'll still release our season three content in the near uh future exact date to be to, to be deter, uh, to be determined which like i don't understand now like if it's shutting down why like what is there to get now you know this is a free-to-play game why why let it go on for this long you know people can't buy people are not gonna be buying anything people are probably just gonna stop playing the game now why are we having the servers go this long uh let me know your thoughts in the comments i, I just that, that just doesn't make sense to me um that just seems like it's more costs uh, for those who purchased the ultimate uh, ultimate founder pack, you will receive a full refund. Players who made any purchase within the last thirty days will uh, also be refunded uh, as well. Those refunds will can be ha uh, will happen automatically within eight weeks of today. You can find more details uh, xdefiant.com. A few years ago, xdefiant and San Francisco dev team embarked on a bold adventure to develop the new arcade shooter xdefiant. It was from the it was from the start an incredible challenge. Not only where we were trying to shake up the genre. By removing skill-based matchmaking uh, while bringing back home old-school arcade shooter experience, but we were also uh, diving into a high-risk, high-reward realm of free-to-play. Uh, and for and for that, we want to applaud not only the dev team and, and but also the Ubisoft leadership taking, for taking that chance. Free-to-play is particularly a long, long journey. Many free-to-play games take uh, take a long time to find their footing, becoming profitable. Uh, it's a long journey that Ubisoft and the team. And the teams working on the game were prepared to make uh, until very recently, but unfortunately, the journey became too much to see uh, to see too much too seasonable to continue. I am of course heartbroken to, to be writing this post. And yes, this game has been a personal passion for me uh, for me for, uh, for me for for me for years. And yes, I know that's not that's not all. Challenge leads to victory. But I also want to recognize all the developers who have been affected by a disclosure. Each and every one of uh, each one of them is a real person, a real life separated from our own, and they and they all uh, put so much of their own passion into making this game. And I hope that they they can be proud of what they did, what they, what they what they did achieve. I know that it will always be, I and I know, and I I know that I will always be proud of the great, uh, proud and grateful to have worked with such a great team. A team that uh, that really punch above its its weight class. Uh, they also mentioned here that when they achieve a what they achieve is truly remarkable. The early response from players when Exafight launch was amazing. We broke internal records for a fast game, surpassing five million users. So there we go. Now we know what the number was at launch: five million users. I was one of them. <laughs> In the end, we we uh, I'm sorry, at the beginning. Uh, we we had over 15 million players uh play our game that is something to be extremely proud of especially considering how tough this genre is so thank you to all the developers who put their passion into, uh, into making this game if there's one thing i can hope uh we can all take away from the experience it's, it's the importance of of open honest communication between developers and players this player first mentality along uh with respect non-toxic uh, conversation between developers there's has has been one of the standout differences that uh, that made XDefiant so special. From my very first post about the X Defiant, uh this was the vision I wanted, wanted to champion, and I hope it leaves a positive mark on how the how the game industry treats the players and the communities. To our players, thank you. From the bottom, uh, above our hearts, I want to express the deepest gratitude for the incredible community. That has grown around X Defiant. Your passion, creativity, and dedication have inspired us every step of the way with the utmost love and respect, Mark. Like, Mark, man, th thank you for everything, man. Honestly, this, I really enjoyed X Defiant. I, uh, you know, I'll, I'll, if, if, if the servers allowed me, 
I'll be there from uh from time to time, especially until the end. It's just it's kind of interesting that they're going this far to June, um, especially that they have like a skeleton crew because like I don't I don't see it's not if it's a game that it's not if it's a game that like it's going off like it's being like discontinued. You can't buy it anymore. Like it's a game that's required a server to run, and it's not if it's like it's going like offline mode or anything like that. Um, or maybe it is. But I just don't see why. I just don't see why it's going that long. You know. Uh, I feel like that will cost. Uh, that will cost them. That'll cost them more money. But sad to see. I know it's a tough genre. I really, like I said, I really enjoyed X Defiant. I'm not even trolling. I really did enjoy X Defiant. It was a lot of fun. Yeah, uh, you, if you ever seen my Twitch channel, you've seen me see me play it a lot. Uh, I also have videos on it as well uh, on my YouTube channel as well. But this one sucks. Um, sorry to those who uh, also been affected with layoffs as well. Um, and uh, and yeah, that's all. I think that's that's pretty much it. End of the video. This one is straight to the point. Um, X Defiant is shutting down and uh more layoffs are coming in the industry and hopefully this is like hopefully this is like the the signs of like all right layoffs are slowing down now and everything but um my heart my heart goes out to those who have been affected and uh and yeah uh let me know if you are a fan uh if you were a fan of x the fight let me know in the comments below what was your favorite map let me know your favorite moment what did you like the most what did you wish to see coming from the game and also your opinion if you have any opinions on um uh, and why they're going this long i this is something i can't figure out why they're doing that but let me know in the comments below uh make sure to hit that subscribe button as we're on the road to 2k we're so close try to hit 2k by the end of the year help a uh you know give me give me a christmas present all right let's make it happen all right <laughs> as always everyone have yourself a damn good one <laughs>